Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back. You're with Scampy level 27 sub sub rogue or subtlety rogue. Just hanging out in Ironforge. We're going to check the post. First of all, actually sold my Rethban oil. Fancy that. Looks like I've sold quite a bit of stuff. What sold for 223 was the raw night fin snappers. I only sold five of them and got all that money, so they, they sell really well. But I sold for a lot. The iron bars, 20 for 84 gold. It's not amazing. It's okay, I suppose. Lots of things did not sell. Lots of things did. So let's just grab it all. See how much total. Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. 700 gold. That's taken me up to 4,300 gold. So pretty much on track for super fast flying skill at some point. I haven't even got flying yet, but that's in a couple more levels from now. At level 30, I'm still level 27. I'm going to complete the two daily quests. Maybe I should swap capital cities and, you know, I'm just suddenly thinking as I'm riding along, I'm hanging out in Ironforge too much. So I'm going to go to Stormwind for a bit of a, a bit of a change, mix it up, keep it real. And there's dailies in Storm wind as well. Actually there's dailies I think in every capital city. Maybe I should make a little bit of a point completing the ones in every capital city for some variety. So we'll jump on the uh, tram, deep run tram. Let's go wait in the middle. I like to wait in the middle just in case tram on the far side comes. It's Monty. Monty and his rats. Don't ask what he does with those rats. Might just pause the video momentarily till we get to Stormwind. Okay, coming in to Stormwind. We should make Stormwind my home. I'm going to be questing around here for a while. Question is, which inn? Maybe the inn all the way down in the other district. Although there is an inn just here. I could make it this inn. Although, I'm just trying to think where everything is. Let's go down to... Oh, there's a quest I didn't hand in there. It's probably a bit out of date, that quest. Let's go into the old city. I think this is where the cooking quest is. Just in here, Pig and Whistle. I think this is where it is. I could be wrong. Nope. I'm wrong. Where, oh, where is the cooking daily? Oh, there is one. I have to jump on the interwebs and have a look. Let's go and hand this quest in. Here. As we're down in the basement, if I recall. Veruca Darkstream. Kind of cool name. Ooh, that looks really nice. Use the fast acting poison to 
to contaminate six grain rations in the west garrison or east garrison of Black Rock Depths. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I can solo that. It's a dungeon. I don't know if it's possible to just sneak in there and do that. I'll think about it. Maybe I won't do that. It'd be nice to have the headpiece for my transmog, I guess. It's very roguey. Okay. So where are these dailies? I think the fishing daily is in the center where the trainer is. So that should be pretty easy. But cooking daily mystery. Let's head around here. I hope the dailies are here. Unless I've done the dailies now. There's one. It's a fishing daily. Actually, you know, maybe... No, there definitely is. Oh, there it is. Robbie Flay. Over there somewhere. Okay. So this one is... Hardened Walleye. You can find the Walleye in Stormwind just north of the city. Okay. That is up in that lake there. Right over there. And I might just quickly just make this in my home just here. And the other convenient thing is all the portals here in Stormwind. I believe they really should make portals in every major city, just to spread it out a bit. Although I think if you play Alliance, by now you're probably addicted to Stormwind City. Where am I heading? Is it down here? Where am I going exactly? Yep. Just a little bit of confusion here. I'm looking for a pub around here somewhere. Robbie Flay. Oh look, there he is. Head Chef. Feeling crabby, catch six canal crabs. Nice. These are all the recipes. Could start buying those soon, I suppose. Right, canal crabs, I'm assuming I just jump in the water. Yep, there they are. This is a nice and easy quest. Probably should have thought this out a little bit more. It's a dead end down here. We can't get out. There's some stairs over here. Maybe exit or maybe stay in the water. Let's decide. I'll just run over the stairs and jump. There's a quest like this in uh, Orgrimmar for the Horde, where you catch the crawfish in the same way. It used to drive me crazy. I think I had a graphics problem where I could never sort of see them. Oops, nothing down here. I wish they would give a little swim speed buff or something. It's 
very slow. There's one more. And luck, lucky last. Now, how do I get out of the water is the next question. Do I swim all the way back or do I look for another exit? All these questions won't matter when I have flow, which I don't. I'll probably hit level 28 pretty soon. The rate of leveling when you're gathering uh, materials is pretty extraordinary. If you haven't done that in the game, if you're a player and you haven't done it, it's pretty remarkable. Oh, actually, maybe I should go fishing. I'm up here. Yeah, it's pretty fast. Now, is this like one? It's fishing here anyway. Okay. Let's put a bobber on. These bobbers last a very long time. I might just pause the video a little bit. Zoom out. There we go. Okay, that's eight. Eight of eight. A little bit more time consuming that one than I thought, but it's fine. I'm not leaving the city, which is good. I like it when the quest just has you in the city. Okay. Next big question is where to fish today? Nice. Bag of shiny things. Let's check it out. Fever, baubles, and copper. Not very exciting. We should use or learn to use the portals here a little bit better than catching boats around. I was thinking I might head down to Ungaro. Ungaro? Sorry, what am I doing back here again? Head down to Ungaro uh, Crater. Doesn't look like you can fish in Silithus anymore. I can't see any water there. Nice. Go to the map for a second. Now. How do we get rid of pet battles? Yep. Dungeon entrances. I don't really need those. Nor do I need the pin. Okay, Highlands is a different expansion. Interlands, Eastern Plague Lands, Silver Pine, Western Plague Lands, Eastern Plague Lands. Um, let's go to the full Azeroth. I want to show you on the map. Silithus. It's all um, lava. Now, unless I talk to Zidormi, but I couldn't get Zidormi to, to work last time. Also, there's no flight path. That one's over in the other county. Actually, maybe if I talk to, D to Zidormi and change it back, if she'll let me and get the, some of the cooking recipes. That's my plan. I'm going to do that. Zidormi. Okay. So maybe we get down to Tanaris. I'm going to use portals if I can. Let me head to Dalaran. And then from Dalaran in the violet hole, uh, violet something, there is another portal to Tanaris. 
I don't think there's a direct Tanneris portal up here at least. You've got to kind of go portal to portal. So here we are in the wizard's sanctum. Hopefully I have, I have access to these portals. I didn't really think of that. There's Dalaran. Let's have a quick look. Shatra we'll be using soon. Caverns of Time. Look, there is an actual one straight to the Caverns of Time. That's pretty handy. We should have been using this way back. Okay. Sometimes there's a rare dragon down here. Let's see if he's here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. He just hovers just here in the air. Okay, so we'll go out to this little flight path. Some, what is that? Grab that. Fire bloom. Watch out for big snake. Okay, it looks like we're going to fight the snake. A rupture on him. There's a big snake. Just a little bit of server lag, I'm noticing. And dodge all these, these fellows. Grab the ore. I mean, not the Petals. So how's that go? Okay. I think I have the flight path up here, so quick journey. Hopefully Zidormi will reverse Silithus back to old Silithus. That would be pretty cool. Oops, where's the flight? Master. Um, so we'll head down to Mossy Pile. See you down there, friends. Okay. Ungaro. Ungoro. It's Ungoro Crater. Currently level 27. Let's see what the mobs scale to. They're also 27. I think level 30 is the max level for classic. I think I've had this conversation in my head many times and out loud. How do the new level scalings relate to the old game? I just don't think it does. Okay. So let's head along path that leads, leads this way. Try and get up there without a fight. There's a lot of critters around. I want to fight. Pterodax. This is Beam foil. So many pterodacts. Greater sage fish. If Silophus fails, I'll come back and fish in that pond. There. I still haven't really figured out 
how Zidomi works, but we'll see. The last time I tried to talk to her, she kind of ignored me. Maybe there's some other criteria you need to set to revert back to classic. So she, she's just over there. For those of you who do not play, thank you for watching, even if you don't play the game. The game goes through different expansions that make huge changes. Not always for the best. And these this lady here sometimes changes it back to the way it used to be, which is what she seems to be able to do. Look at that. Good old Silithus, back to the old one. This is exciting. So that means I can do the cooking quest as well. Get the flight path. All right happy about that. But where where can I fish? That's the question. Thorium. I don't really oh maybe I should grab it. I was just about to say maybe I won't bother with the Thorium, but the thing is it's not just about the Thorium. I get some leveling up as well for my mining skills. So, it's worth it, in that sense. Kind of a creepy zone. I've never really minded Silithus. Very creative as a zone in terms of the, the vibe. It's a bit samey, I suppose, on the map. Scenario and hold. Now I know there are some cooking quests here. That's a lot of points. I'm going to grab that quest because I think the cooking quest, there it is. S look for information about cooking sandworm meat at the Twilight Hammers camp. Quest upstairs, what's that one? I'll just take the quest in case I end up killing some of these mobs, incidentally. Same for these two here. Geo Lords, no. Encrypted texts, no. I don't think I'll do all of those. Let's get the flight path. Nice, okay. All right, where am I heading first? Um, that's Death Clasp. That's the recipe, let's do that. Prioritize the recipe. Let's put myself in the right direction. I'll head out there. My roguey skills should be pretty simple. There's a 
ding, and I've got distract. Talent point. Now, who do I have to kill? gonna stun in case he runs. Bring it back to Scenarian Hole. Getting some silver. It's pretty slow going, making your money. Mounting up. I think the next part is collecting sandworm meat. So I already have killing the sandworm quests. Quests, sorry. So it's a good double up. Just learn the recipe, straight up. Interesting. Not sure if I'm gonna do that. I might buy that, try and sell it on the auction house. Okay, now. Is there water? I actually don't know the answer. I can't quite remember if there is any water. Even a little pond is enough. Maybe up here? Let's try up there first. Oh, I've got a talent point. Let me spend it first. Let's see, rogue points, okay, deadened nerves reduce damage, not too bad, cheat death, fatal attacks reduce you, blah blah blah, and elusiveness, evasion reduces damage taken, okay, they're not bad, um, movement speed, Speed. I'm going to take fleet footed. Yeah, I like that one. Just makes me just faster, basically. Makes me fast. Okay, so I'm going to head and farm at the same time. Dredge Strikers. Let's come over here. Sungrass was a little underwhelming on our auction house. Surprise, Sungrass usually is a big seller. I mean, it sells. It's a it's a fast seller, but it doesn't sell for that much. Let's pull that worm away from that spider thing. Painbringer of the Aurora. Two handed mace. Hmm. Sell for a fair bit. It's kind of a cool looking weapon. I 
do have a new spell, distract. Double rupture, that was a bit silly. I should have eviscerated him. Rupture, oh, he stuns. We're heading the right way? Yep. There's a couple of rares that roam around. I don't remember where they are exactly, but they do exist. Get this one. The size of this guy. Rupture again. Shiv. Some sandworm meat. I think the old days that sandworm recipe quest used to make you get the meat first before it handed over the Okay. Now will there be some water? I don't know why I thought there was water up here. I don't know how the memory works, it just kind of vaguely suggests something in the unconscious. I think there's water up here. Let's grab this. Doesn't seem to be any water on the map. down to the south side of Silithus. Grabbing some more ore and herbs. Fishing rod slung. Might have to take this guy down. It's interesting they've made all the bleed spells work on elementals now. Like, logically, what is bleeding on these guys? Alright. Heading to where? Straight down south. It's kind of cool, all these. Crystals, colors, purpley golds, fairy prints. Grab this. Maybe 
fishing in the hive? I didn't think of that. Is there, or are there any fish in the hive? Question mark. What have we got here? It's part of the game I never really understood. Kind of a PvP Silithus thing. Maybe there is. Maybe there is water in there. I'm trying to rack my brains. Was there water in the nest? No. no water on the map. There's a raid. Let's grab this. old raid from original classic wow never did this raid in classic or um, in any other time i soloed it later and cleared it out a few times to farm things but never actually did it proper okay can't see any any water anywhere World Wide Web. It's momentarily. Okay, apparently in Hive Regal there's a little pond. But also someone said there is a waterfall in here in Ankuraj. Let's check it out a little bit more. Okay, so AQ20, I think, is the one where I am. I don't know if I can actually get into this raid by myself at level 28. I'm not sure. Let's check it out. And even if I do make it in, I'll probably just get pounded straight away by the enemy. What do these guys sell? Nothing for me. Nothing for me. Nothing for me. No, not going to let me in. Okay. So, there's a little bit of water just there. Hive Regal. Where is that one? Regal, Hive Regal. I'm just fancying up the name needlessly. Zora, what's over here? Let's head around. Almost halfway through level 28. Leveling is, is so fast in this game at the moment. There's a big bit of ore. I'll grab that. Some more. fighting. Rock stalker. He's over here. Hive Regal. It's 
So we're going to go into Hive Regal. Regal. So we'll grab this. Seem to be enjoying the spec. It's okay. The thing about being a rogue it's just so easy to make your way past all the mobs just to get to where you want to get to without having to fight your way in and back. Which arguably, I mean, I don't know, I'm not a statistician, but maybe one of the biggest time saving features in the game, you know, even comparing it to say the druid's ability to you know move around the game really quickly the rogue's ability to vanish and to be invisible could maybe be a bigger time saver when you're leveling okay how do you get in is the question and where is the water Big old entrance up there. Let's sprint up there. There's usually a couple of entrances, so I don't know which one to prioritize. We're going in. Oh, look at that ore. Lots of sapping, I think. I think the nests actually, they link up underground. It's like a rogue, but he's not even a threat. Hive Lord. Dead end. Yikes. A bit lost in here. Ambusher. I misread it earlier, I thought it said Ambassador. It's pretty much the opposite of an Ambassador. No idea where I'm going. Just instinct. Walking around. Okay, here's an exit. Right. That one was not successful. Uh, let's try one of the ones over here. I 
You can hear a rogy. Oh, look, it's right here. It is right here. Look at that. I found it, friends. I just stumbled onto it. Now, can you fish here? Look at that. Fishing in Silithus. Alright, going to be here for a little while. Stay tuned. Okay, friends. I've been standing here for maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And I've gone up 10 levels, so it was a little slow. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't blisteringly fast. If I just scroll here, you can see the, the rate of my leveling. And what did I get for my trouble? I got seven raw white scales, so, uh, six raw sun scale salmons, one of these things called a lightning eel, which I only got one of, hoping it sells well, four night fin snappers, which sell very well, and what else? Some of these raw red gills as well. I've got some junk, weeds, driftwood, tattered cloth boot, sickly fish and tangled line. So I don't know, it's kind of an interesting place to fish, but I think now time for a break and I will see you in the next session if you care to join me. Bye for now.